Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to draw a flowchart and what is the use of a flowchart and what are the symbols we can use to draw a flowchart. So this is this presentation agenda. Let me have an introduction about what is a flowchart. A flowchart is a graphical representation of an algorithm. So what is a flowchart? A flowchart is a graphical representation of an algorithm. What is an algorithm? Yes, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step process. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is a step-by-step -step process. So what is a flowchart? A flowchart is a pictorial or graphical representation of an algorithm. This flowchart play a vital role in the programming of a problem are quite helpful in understanding the logic of complicated and lengthy problems. So why we want to use flowcharts? So whenever you are going for complicated logics or lengthy programs during the time this flowchart is very very useful. Once flowchart is drawn it becomes easy to write the program in high level language the first step of programming is algorithm and second step you want to convert the algorithm into pictorial representation called flowchart and third the flowchart can be converted into programming so we'll write the program in high level language that is a human readable language often we see flowcharts are useful in explaining the programs to others. What is the use of flowchart? If you want to explain your programs to others, the easiest way to explain your program is flowchart. Hence, it is correct to say that a flowchart is must for better documentation of a complex program, right? So, flowchart is must for better documentation of a complex program. So, flowchart is very important. And next, you may ask a question, sir, what are the symbols we can use to draw a flowchart? Yeah, here is the answer. The flowcharts are usually drawn using some standard symbols. However, this is a rounded rectangle for start or end of the program. Whenever you want to start or whenever you want to finish, you want to use the rounded rectangle. And this is a rectangle, so computational steps or processing function of a program, right? So computational calculating steps or if you want to process any information you want to use rectangle this is parallelogram this is input or output operation right whenever you want to get the values or whenever you want to display the values you want to use this parallelogram and this diamond is a decision making decision making and branching right and this is called as connector or a jointer for example if you are going to represent a program <coughs> A complex program right your flow chart may exceed more than 10 pages we cannot able to overlap the lines or diagrams during that cases this connector plays a vital role so you can use the connectors to connect one or more flow charts as you like the following are some guidelines in flow chart in drawing a proper flow chart all necessary requirements should be listed out in logical order right whenever you are drawing a flowchart you should list in logical order the flowchart should be clear neat and easy to follow there should not be any room of ambiguity in understanding the flowchart right it should be very clear there should only any ambiguity that is a diagram having one or more meaning no 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 it's not allowed our process or diagram should have only one meaning the usual direction of flowchart of a procedure or a system is from left to right or top to bottom right it's a left to right or top to bottom the flow only one flow line should come out from a process symbol right only one flow line should come out from a process symbol only one flow line should enter in a decision symbol but two or three flow lines and one for each possible answer should leave the decision symbol right a decision symbol should have only one input it may have any number of output you can able to see only one input if it is a less than zero is a greater than zero and equal to zero 
only one flow line is used in conjunction with terminal symbol right there should be only one flow line should be used with the conduct conjunction or terminal symbol if flow chart became complex it is better to use the connector symbol to reduce the number of flow lines as i said whenever your flow chart is going very complex during that time it's always better to use connectors to avoid the overlap avoid interaction of flow lines if you want to make it more effective and better way of communication right so use connectors ensure that flow chart as a logical start and finish right always a flow chart should start with start and finish it is use useful to test the validity of the flow chart by passing through it with a sample test data right so after constructing flow chart you want to check the flow chart how to check the flow chart you take a sample data and travel through the flow chart so it give the output and now we are going to see an example so write an algorithm and draw a flow chart for finding the average of two numbers so this is an example how to draw a flow chart so first algorithm input two numbers x and y and output the average of x and y and steps input x input y and sum is equal to x plus y average sum by 2 and average output so this are the steps algorithm steps now this will be converted into diagrams right start always a flow chart should have a logical start and logical end and parallelogram for getting the input of x and input of y and sum x plus y and uh, average sum divided by 2 and average output is average again the parallelogram so process is square sorry it's a rectangle this is a rectangle so this is how we are going to draw a diagram right now and again i'm going to open a new microsoft word and i'm going to insert these symbols so how to use these symbols go to insert shapes and uh, here is the flow chart symbols so you take this symbol right and add text start and then you want to get the value of x and y so insert uh shapes and then go for this one parallelogram and add text so input x and insert a shapes again the same this time so this one input add text input y and then you want to calculate so insert shapes and calculate so add text so sum equal to x plus y and how to find out the average insert shapes and then uh sorry not this we want to go for insert shapes this is a rectangle and then and you want to find out the average avg is equal to sum divided by 2 and then so you want to show the average so what is the output symbol insert and then parallelogram and then insert text add text so you want to show the output average a v c and then 
you want to finish your program so go to insert shapes draw on rectangle so to stop your program stop okay so now you want to create a link so you want to draw a line so from here okay so again insert shape you take pick the same line and you draw one more line right and again go to insert shape pick the same line and draw a line go to insert shapes this you pick the same line and draw a line and change it and go to insert shapes again pick the same symbol and you do the same for remaining part insert shapes now your flow chart is ready so let us say start and let me give some sample value for x x equal to 10 and y equal to 20 so sum equal to 10 plus 20 equal to 30 and avg equal to 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15 so a v g 15 so this is the output so this is a test data in which you want to check your flowchart again what is x value 10 y value 20 and sum is 30 and average is 30 by 2 15 and output average 15 will be the result and you start stop your flowchart i think you may enjoy this video thanks for being with us thank you